everybody, another day, another dollar. Today is Tuesday. Let's jump right into things. We're expecting another volatile day. These are the top five things I'll be watching starting off with number one. We'll continue to focus on early signs that the COVID-19 pandemic is in fact starting to ease. In Europe, we got some worrying news. Uh, Spain reported its first increase in five days in the number of new coronavirus deaths and cases. Uh, however, in the US, uh, several governors have reported uh, tentative signs that the outbreak might be starting to uh, peak in their states. Uh, New York is specifically in focus as it has the most number of cases in the country. Uh, Governor Andrew Cuomo has been giving daily updates at around 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, pay attention to any headlines coming out of that uh, this morning as I expect those numbers to be a real market mover. On to number two. Investors will also be anxious for more details regarding another round of fiscal stimulus coming out of Washington. Reports surfaced late Monday that another stimulus package could be worth as much as one and a half trillion dollars and it could come as early as May. So obviously any news regarding further uh, fiscal stimulus uh, will be uh, much to uh, will be music to the market's ear, especially after we got the 2.2 trillion stimulus package in late March. On to number three. Markets on Wall Street are rallying once again this morning uh, with U.S. stock index futures up around 3% at the moment. Uh, the Dow is set for a gain of more than 800 points uh, at the moment as it aims to extend its 7% surge uh, from uh, Monday. Technically speaking, if you pull up the uh, Dow chart, it looks a lot better than it did a couple weeks ago, I can tell you that much, uh, as we aim to break above the 200-week moving average. Uh, however, with that being said, I do still expect uh, the Dow to uh, retest its March 23 lows. Uh, so caution stay is, is, is all I can advise. I, I got a special guest here. My daughter's uh, in here with me uh, making, uh, making some noise. Let's quiet down there in a few seconds. There we go. On to number four. Oil prices should also see some volatility today as we expect this week's OPEC Plus meeting. All eyes are basically on headlines uh, uh, coming out of uh, that. The, uh, the Russians and the Saudis basically uh, have agreed on cutting uh, production. However, it is dependent on whether U.S. producers uh, will uh, join the pact. Uh, so obviously more volatility in oil markets. Keep your eyes on that. And finally, number five, staying in commodities markets, gold futures are jumping once again this morning, extending this week's rally to reach a new seven-year high. Uh, we saw prices break above the 1740 level uh, before retreating back to around uh, 1700. Uh, we're currently trading at about 1710. Uh, at these levels, uh, gold looks set to uh, break higher, 1800 and even 2000 in the uh, weeks and months ahead. So that's it for me. Emily, want to say hi? Come, come on over here. Come on over here. Emily, want to say hi? <laughs> say hi. There we go. So that's it for me. Stay safe, everybody. Stay indoors and stay healthy. May the trading gods be with you.